Have you already tried using the seed command in Midjourney, but your results and characters are still all over the place? In this video, I will show you why that is and how you can use the seed command to get more consistent results. And no worries if you're a beginner, we will do everything step by step. First of all, what is the seed command? Let's say you create a character that you absolutely love, and now you want to keep using that character for different scenes and in different pictures. For that, Many people use the seed command. To find the seed of a picture, you need to go up here, click on add reaction, and then you need to find the envelope reaction. I got it right here. If you don't have it, just go into the search bar and there you just type envelope. And there you see it right away. So you just click on that envelope and then you get the seed of that picture. As you can see there on the top left, you got the message from the Midjourney bot for your seed. So you just click there. And right here you can see the seed, that long number. So you copy that number. Then you go back to your Discord channel and there you can use the seed to hopefully create similar looking pictures and characters. So let's try that when we just use the seed and create something new. And as you can see, it's completely different. It does not resemble the old picture in any way at all, despite using the same seed. And that's because most people understand what the seed actually is a little bit wrong. So let's look at what the seed actually is. Okay, let's say you created a new picture <laughs> and bear with me for a second. I promise this is very simple. So you created a new picture and now you get the seed of that picture, which is one, two, three, four, five. And now you want to create a new picture and think with this seed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you refer back to the old picture that you created, like this. But that's not how it works. Your old picture is not the starting point for the new picture. The seed is the starting point, and the seed is also the starting point for your old picture. And this is way easier than it maybe sounds, because it really just looks like this. So the seed basically determines where your picture starts from. Everything else that happens after that is random and according to your prompt that you wrote. But now you also know how to use the seed command to create similar characters. First of all, you can use any random seed that you want. You don't need to extract the seed of your picture. Of course, if you create something you love, get the seed in the way I showed you. But if you just start out, you can use a random seed and see what it does. So let's try to create a consistent character with a random seed. Let's say Ruby, a woman with long red hair, a determined gaze, and military clothes. In a comic book style. And let's pick a random seed by typing dash dash seed. And let's just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'll speed that up and let's have a look how that turns out. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And when you now copy the exact same prompt with the same seed, you get the exact same results. So let's just speed that up and test it real quick. If you change only one thing, your results will be different. So as you see here, I mistyped. So let's type gaze in the right way and we'll get different results. All right, as you can see here, our new picture with the same prompt and the same seed is exactly the same as our first picture and prompt. And as you can see here, our corrected picture is similar, but it's not identical. It's different. It's not the same. So you can really use the seed command to see what impact different words have on your prompts. So let's copy that again and then change uh, determined gaze to a friendly gaze and see how that looks different from the original. And let's copy it another time and change it to a full body picture of Ruby. And then let's copy that full body picture and let's change one more thing here, long hair to short hair. And here we have our friendly gaze and it immediately looks way friendlier to me. If we look at the other picture again, the determined gaze. Well, the character looks definitely very similar, but yeah, determined and friendly. Let's upscale two of them and then look a little closer at how they compare. Now here we have the determined gaze, yes. And now here we have the friendly gaze, 
definitely the same character with a slightly different gaze. So as you can see, the seed command can really help you to get similar characters. And now let's have a look at the full body picture. Here we have it with long hair and here with short hair. I don't know <laughs> what happened at the bottom left, but let's upscale picture one of both and see how they compare. And here we go, Ruby with long hair and Ruby with short hair. Definitely looks similar. Of course, there are a few details that are not quite the same, but it looks very, very similar. All right, let's choose Ruby with short hair. And in order to create really similar characters, you need to copy the picture address. For me, it's in German. For you, it will probably say something like picture address, copy picture address, or something like that. So you copy that, then you can paste it into a new prompt like this. And then you copy your original description with the seed like this. And then you can change things in here to create consistent characters. So let's just say in a cafe and see what that gives us. I'll just speed that up. Here we go. In a cafe, let's look at our original. There she is. And yeah, if we go back, definitely could be the same character. Okay, let's copy that one more time and try a few more things. Let's try in a very busy cafe surrounded by other people. And then let's also try instead of in a cafe, in a dark and sinister forest. And one more thing, let's try during a beautiful spring sunrise. All right, and here we have our picture in the forest. It looks pretty similar. Doesn't look too bad at all. And here we have our picture in the cafe. Definitely looks similar as well if we compare it to the original right here. And here our picture from before. Okay, let's start to upscale some of these. Let's upscale the, the fourth one over here. The, um, let's see, the first one over here. And let's upscale the... Well, the first one looks great as well over here. And here we have our spring sunrise. Let's also upscale the first one. And let's compare them. All right, I think they look great. There are of course a few minor differences. This is something that you cannot really do something against. You can make them even more similar with a lot of rewards. But yeah, I think they look awesome. One very important thing though is if you see our original image on the left, it's on a white background. If you refer to a picture with the link like we did, you definitely always want a white background, otherwise you will refer to the background as well. And it will not change as easily as it did here. To learn even more about Midjourney and how to use it, be sure to check out this video right over here. See you over there.